Alrighty, I think I might be live. Who knows? Um, I am now in the Nissan Leaf 2 with thanks to Nissan Australia. They've given me this uh, car for the next week. It's a media loaner. So I'm guessing getting somewhere with, um, you know, car makers. Uh, Tesla, looking at you. Anyway, um, so this week I'm going to be posting lots of little videos, not my normal sort of stuff. And um, so if you've got questions, please uh, hit me up, put them down below. I would really want to hear from you. I don't know if I can see on screen anyway here any questions that you may be asking me live. So I'll say that for next time when I'm actually a bit more <laughs> uh, understanding of this whole process. And maybe what I'll actually do is I'll make a time. Uh, maybe on Saturday I'll make a time where I'm going to go live so you can actually ask me on air and everyone um, can get their questions answered. Um, just first impressions so far. I've only driven it for about an hour. It's the e-pedal. I love the e-pedal. It's very nice. It's very, very zippy. It's a bit of a 300 um, newton meters of torque. So when you press that accelerator, it actually um, goes fast. Charge time overnight, hard to say. I think it comes with both the 10 amp adapter in the boot as well as a DC fast charge connection. Uh, so it's only a 270 kilometer WLTP range. And so I would think that I don't know what onboard charger is on here. I think it's a, um, oops, someone's just got home. Uh, I think that the onboard charger is only two point something kilowatt. I'm not very certain of that, but I will find out for the next video. So I'm going to suggest maybe 10 kilometers per hour maximum. So if you do more than, let's say, 80 kilometers a day, uh, well, no, no, let's, let's put it another way. If you do more than 100 kilometers a day, uh, you guys need to put this thing on to charge for at least 10 hours. That's that's my guess right now. Uh, 126 kilometers left there. I like this readout. It actually gives you a real-time reading of what the um, car is using. So there's the uh, power. So it's a 110, 110 kilowatt uh, electric motor. It's telling me that the climate control, if I turn off the climate control, I'd actually get a further additional 10 kilometers. Uh, it's telling me what the energy consumption is of the other systems. And down here, we've got the, you know, climate, uh, got the seat warmers. There's the on off switch. Here's the, um, uh, you know, the e-pedal thing. So weirdly, whenever you turn it, when I'm looking over there, whenever you turn it on, you need to actually engage that. Every time I've turned it on, I've had to re-engage it because it's a lot of fun. It's like driving a dodging car. A lot of great fun. Um, what? How cold is it now? It's not cold today in Melbourne. It's it's crazy, Andrew. It's like 20 degrees. We've hit spring and we've hit spring real good. So uh, watch this space. Uh, what are the other comments? Um, how many kilowatts motor? Yes, yeah, only 110 kilowatt motor. Uh, so I think for just reference sake, I think the Model 3 is about a 150 kilowatt plus a 190. They have two different sort of the front and the rear. Um, so not as big as the Tesla Model 3. So 0 to 100 times is nothing like what the um, Model 3 is going to be. Um, I think this, this thing's about 7 or no, it's 8.5 seconds, I think, 0 to 100 k's per hour. But when you actually do put your foot in accelerator, all that torque goes pretty fast. Um, I like the leather seats. It's nice. Um, the steering wheel isn't adjustable with its, um, uh, you know, you can't move it whatsoever. Um, so the sitting position, I think, is not as good as other cars I've driven. And this is, uh, after all, like a fifty, fifty-five thousand dollar on the on road car in Australia, and uh, it's um, mm, I don't know, is 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 it worth that? I think so. Yeah, yeah. No, no tilt on the steering wheel. So finding a comfy position, I think, if you're a taller person, is going to be a bit difficult. Is true that you can't. Uh, rapid twice in a row. I believe so because there is no active cooling or heating for the battery pack. So you can do one fast DC charge and after that they limit you. But I'll confirm that on a road trip on the weekend. Uh, memory seat, no. Um, it does have a proximity key, um, but the seat is a manual seat. Yeah, so um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I can't really show you that, can I? Uh, we've got the controls down here and nothing sudden down there. Um, yeah, all right, I'll get out. Look, <laughs> he's upset with me. Yeah.
manual controls. Um, the car's definitely upset with me. I've walked out without turning it off. So I imagine it's turned off. Anyway, I'll be doing a lot more videos and I'll post little ones like this and I'll do a formal review um, in a few weeks when I've uh, got everything in my brain all sorted out. Uh, good morning here in, where? Brazil. Hey, excellent live. Cheers. <laughs> And yes, um, what else? No, and yes, for Reg8530, there is no tilt or reach on the steering wheel. Um, what other questions do we have? Uh, that's pretty much it so far. All right, no, if you saw any of what just happened, but I think I lost a connection, I had to pay for parking, so I'm on the move. Anyway, if you've got questions, if you've got comments, you wanna hear about X, Y, or Z, Please, please do let me know. So I'll be broadcasting tomorrow about, um, let's say, 5 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Let's do that. So 5 p.m. A-E-S-T. That's an Australian time. Um, see you then. Out. Oh, yeah.